What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 7 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So in this tutorial we're going to create a new tube class which will be our obstacles in the game and we'll go ahead and place those tubes on the screen. Um, we won't add collision just yet. So with all that said let's go ahead and get dive right into our code. Um, we'll create a new sprite here, um, new Java class and we're going to call it a tube. So inside the new tube class, we're going to create two new textures, one for the top tube and one for the bottom tube. So let's create some private texture top tube and bottom tube. And then we'll create a constructor, so public tube. And actually, it's going to take in a float x. That'll be uh, the coordinate on the x-axis of where the tube is going to start. And then we'll create top tube equals new texture. And I've already put in uh, two new PNG files. Uh, first one will be, uh, let's see, top tube.png. And then bottom tube equals new texture. And it will be bottom tube.png. So now let's set up some vector2 uh, holders for our position of our bottom tube and our top tube. So private vector2 position top tube and position bot tube. So we're going to create a random tube position on the y axis. So we need a private uh, random rand. And oops, here we'll have to we'll use the Java, the basic random. Now rand rand equals new random. And then we're going to set the position of our top tube uh, on a random y axis. And then we'll position our uh, bottom tube below that. So to position our top tube, position top tube equals new vector two we'll give it our x-axis that we got in our constructor and then we'll do rand.nextInt and we're going to create a new uh, variable called uh, fluctuation we'll go ahead and define that up here um, public or actually we'll do private private static final int fluctuation equals 130 so it can move up and down randomly between 0 and 130 and then um, we're also going to add in the tube gap that we'll also set up here so private static final int tube gap equals 100 so the difference between the openings in the tube will be 100 and then finally um, we'll add the lowest opening for the bottom tube so the top of the bottom tube can't be below the area of the screen so we need to set where uh, what is the lowest available opening for that top tube and I'm going to say that's probably around 120 pixels. We want it at least 120 above the bottom of the screen. So private static final int lowest opening equals 120. And we can play around with these numbers and I'll show you what they actually do a little bit later. Um, so the position of the bottom tube is going to be a little bit easier. New vector 2 we'll give it the x-axis and then we'll do um, position of the bottom tube or the top tube position of the top tube dot y minus tube gap and then um, minus the bottom tube dot get height so because it's going to be drawing below the screen because it's a large tall image we need to subtract that from the y-axis because it's going to draw in the bottom left hand corner 
let's add some getters to our class here so we can access it from our game. Um, generate uh, getters for, let's see, our top tube. We just want our top tube, our bottom, oops, our bottom tube, and yeah, these right here. So let's scroll down. There we go, we got them. Now inside of our play state, um, we'll create a private tube um, and call it tube just for now. And then we'll say tube equals new tube. And we'll say we want to get make that tube at 100 on the x axis. Now we need to draw the top and bottom tubes ever on every cycle. So sb.draw um, tube.get top tube. And then tube dot that gives the texture get uh, top tube position dot x and tube dot get top tube position dot y. Then we need to also draw the bottom tube. So sb dot draw. We got to get the texture first. Tube dot get bottom tube. And then tube dot get position of the bottom tube get the x position of the bottom tube and then tube dot get position of the bottom tube and get the y position there. So let's go ahead and hit play here. We'll see it takes a little bit to load. So there we go. We have a tube that is about in the middle of our screen and it's been randomly generated the spacing. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. So here we go. Now you can see obviously the tube has positioned itself slightly different because of that randomly generated number. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. We've already added our bird and our tube. Now we need to add a bunch of tubes to make more obstacles and get our bird to go uh, in the direction of our tubes and actually collide. We'll work on those in future tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.